Hey guys, so today I'm going to do for a very first time, this is um, like an experiment and I have never done this, but I want to actually do the journey with you guys and do this together. So the first step to do something like this, which I am actually going to be doing the brisaola, which is a, um, it's an Italian um, deli meat essentially. So I have washed my hands. I will be um, putting on some sterile gloves because we just don't want any of your natural bacteria to go in the meat since from today would be day one until this is ready to be consumed. It's going to take um, weeks to months for that to happen. So let me just put this on, get ready, and um, we're going to do the next step when I'm done with that. Okay, so this is a two point, I mean a two pound, two ounce eye of round meat. And um, what we're gonna do now is, I like to use this, um, my pie dish, because it's not going to be messy and um, the rub is not going to go everywhere. This is just a personal preference. You can use whatever you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pie, um, a pie pan. So this is the rub that I'm slowly just pouring on here and you really do need to rub it everywhere in every side and this is just what I'm going to do so here we go all right so the next step here is I have here a food saver a vacuum bag this does come with the food saver um, vacuum sealer machine and so what would I would prefer actually and by the way I know I'm kind of all over the place with that but by the way I actually got new gloves um, because the other one was completely dirty so just so you know FYI there's no magic involved going on so what I like to do now this is just I think it's just cleaner that way is to fold over the top because we will be putting this entire cut of meat in here and also anything left with the rub that is just um, in the pie, the pie plate, um, I will just be putting that in the bag because all of this rub really it has been measured and all that info will be down below. If you are interested in wanting to do this, at home or you're curious how it's made all that good stuff it will be down below and always check the description box in my videos because um, I try as much as possible to get you information for everybody who's curious and don't forget to also check out my other channels which are also linked down below so I pretty much got everything there and if you hear a baby talking that is my son um, so there we go. I will now have to take my gloves off and get new ones. All right, so I did have to take my gloves off because it just was dirty and gnarly. And so what you need to do now is to shake it. I just, okay, I'm just not gonna speak for a little bit just because I'm going to have to shake this. And I'm trying to get everything else that was um, not really sticking to the meat to just fill in any kind of blank space in there to just, you know, just kind of make sure it nothing goes to waste. Okay, so this is my vacuum sealing machine. So after you shook everything and double checking your meat that everything is in there um, and it's completely coated and covered. So what you do is just, just open the machine itself. You put it here in between. Um, in between like it feels like a foam material right here. So this is how you actually will vacuum seal your bag. So you close it because it was 
hitting the meat and you just need a little bit a little bit of that opening right there you don't have to put the entire thing in so you shut it you turn it on and as soon as the light the green light turns on this is just for my machine um you know you don't have to use this particular machine but this is just our machine and so you hit the vac seal button And so if you can see there, it actually just does everything itself. All you just have to do is wait. Okay, so um, what it typically will do is when it is completely done, the red light above the seal will let you know. And before that does pop up, you don't want to open that. So now this is ready to be taken out. Actually, there's a button right here. And so this is completely sealed. Now, I will have to clean the inside of this just because there are some juices that come out. And this is the part that of the machine that you take out and you can rinse off any other, you know, moisture that did come out whenever you was doing the vacuum seal. Now, this particular meat, the Brisaola, um, this is going to be refrigerated for different recommendations from different recipes but we are going to go based on um umai umai's um recipe and the company um umai and so we're gonna base that on that and we're gonna keep this in the fridge as is for 14 days so the next step that you're or the next part of the video you're gonna watch it'll be 14 days after and we're gonna just keep on the journey with that Okay, so this is 13 days after, and this is the brisola that you just saw. So now um, this is going to be taken out of the vacuum bag, and just stay tuned. So after taking the brisola out of the vacuum bag that was being cured for, thir dry cured for 13 days, and this is what it looks like after it has been a thoroughly rinsed out and just so you know you have to rinse this out in drinking water so now we're gonna do the um, seasoning and spices for the dry aging part and um we're gonna be adding sea salt that's just our preference you can use other kinds of salt if you prefer you know it's just it's your personal preference this is our personal preference to use i usually prefer using the sea salt i believe what i have is the himalayan pink sea salt and um, of course some thyme and after that we're going to add some rosemary i really hope you enjoy this video and you're going to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel and um, don't forget to hit the bell so you're going to be notified every single time we do have a new video up for you guys to watch It's now time to just put this in the bag and after that we're going to vacuum seal it. So now what you want to do is just um, crease it as much as you can because this will assist in drawing a vacuum um, with vac the vac mouse. The vac mouse is that strip of white looking kind of paper and you want to put that in um, close to the top but not really on the edge and what that would do is it will help with the surface bond between moist meat surface and umai dry 
air pockets. Um, this will just help circulate it so um, it won't really completely dry it too much. All right, so the Brisola has been dry aging for a little over three weeks in this particular bag, and now it is finally ready for us to cut into it. Uh, my husband is going to do that now. He will open the bag, and he will cut the bag open. I just said that in a different way than I. Um, and while he's doing that, we actually have a meat slicer over here so we can cut it nice and even. So we're just, we're just gonna, there we go, there we go. Um, he's cutting it in half. Okay, so we've cut that in half, or he's cut that in half, and now we are going to slice it and try or sample a piece to see. Um, just so you know, we have never tried this ever. I've never tasted brisola. He's never tasted brisola. We've never tried this kind of meat, so this would be a really good um, try test, I guess you could say, for the both of us together. Okay, I guess that's good enough for now. We're just going to do one extra slice and then we're good. There we go. And let's see. This is what it looks like. Oh my God, it looks really good. And there we go against the light. It looks really good. It's got like a little um, pink here in the middle. And this is more of a maroon kind of color. There you go, with the, like the sunlight, indirect sunlight. It's cut really thin, really perfectly. Beautiful, and I will try it now. It's pretty good. So, um, I will, everything will be linked down below, and if you have any questions, please feel free to make sure you leave that in the comment section, and we will address that as soon as possible. Thank you, guys.